the final question that needs to be answered in the coordinates is who decides these values in the weights uh, until now i told you that uh, we'll be using these weights but i never told how we come up with these numbers within these weights so that's what is done in the machine learning let's say if you are going to your friend's home to play a dart game what you will do is you will just pick up the dart and throw it at the board maybe in your first attempt you will hit the target somewhere outside then you will realize that you hit the board at a very uh, high angle and you next time in the next attempt you reduce the angle slightly this time maybe maybe you hit the edge of the board so now you know that you are moving in the right direction next you reduce the angle even further to hit the board here and in the next next iteration you might hit the board somewhere around here now you know that you are going in the right direction but uh, maybe what what might happen is in the next attempt you might hit the board somewhere over here now you know that the angle at which you have to throw the dart is somewhere in between these two attempts so what you what you do is you slightly increase the angle from this point to hit the dart somewhere over here and then maybe here then here then here and finally you hit the target so this strategy is called ready fire aim you first make an attempt and then improve the aim based on the result so this process happens continuously for a long time until you manage to hit the target so this typically is how humans learn and now in the field of machine learning the learning happens in the same way for example let's say you have two coefficients a and b and uh, you tell the machine that the sum should be 10 the machine doesn't know any uh, proper formulas or algebra or mathematics so what it does is it randomly picks uh, two numbers to start with and sees what the value it is getting so in its first attempt it will get a value of 2 now it knows that the difference between the target and what you achieved is large that is the difference is 8 so it slightly increases these two values now the difference is 6 and it realizes that it is going in the right direction so it further increases these values now the difference is just 2 then again it increases the values but uh, this time it overshoots the value by again a margin of 2 so now your machine knows that the value of these coefficients is somewhere in between these two so this time it will try, try the values of 5 and 5 to finally achieve the target of 10 here we can see that the difference the margin between the target and what you have achieved is zero so this is what the machine is trying to do it is uh, trying to achieve a target of zero or if not possible as close to zero as possible that is maybe sometimes uh, these values might be 4.9 and uh, 5.2 which will give you a result of 10.1 uh, but still this is the best that your machine might be able to do under the given circumstances so it will just stop at this stage so the difference may not always be exactly zero it might be a very small number this is the case if there are just two coefficients in your equation but what if the number of coefficients is 4 and you have to achieve a target of 100 even here your machine learning system will start with some uh, very low values of say 1 for each of these coefficients and here it will realize that the difference is 96 then after few iterations in between now it will try these values for a b c and d this time the difference is 50 and uh, similarly after playing around with the values of a b c and d for some more iterations this time it will try these values now the difference is just 15 now your system knows that it is uh, going close to the target then further in few more iterations it adjusts the values of a b c and d so that the values are as shown here but uh, this time it overshoots the target by just 10 so what it does it in in its final attempt it will adjust some coefficients to finally hit the target with a loss of 0 that is a margin of 0 so this is the intuition behind how machine learning happens i already told you that i'll not be going into the details i'll not be explaining mathematics behind how the learning happens but this is the intuition of it it will take the difference between value that it got and the target in this case uh, this value is called as loss and using a using a technique called back propagation it will it will adjust the weights of these coefficients accordingly so that uh, with each step it will start moving closer to the target so this is how typically how machine learns you have to know some terminologies uh, the one one thing is that the difference between the value that the, your uh, 
system computed and the intended value that is the target the difference between these two values is known as the loss and how does the updating of these weights happen it happens through a technique called back propagation i will not be going into details of how this works i would uh, suggest that you take a look at uh, some of the course or uh, some blogs but i hope with this video you have the intuition of how machine learning happens so that is how you update these weights in your convolution neural network maybe in this case you start with a very low value of 0.1 for all the weights for all the coefficients and you tell the system that uh, my intended uh, value intended target is 120 in order to detect the vertical edge then what happens is your system continuously keeps adjusting these weights successively after every iteration until it is able to achieve a value of 120 here at the output of your fully connected layer so until then it keeps adjusting these values in both the convolution layer and also the fully connected layer once it is done with all the iteration and it finally achieves the target these will be the value of these coefficients and you should note uh, one more thing that here uh, the values of these coefficients a b c and d are not unique there can be any number of combinations for example for a i can choose a value of 20 and uh, d i can choose a value of 10 i can retain the other two values as it is and with these values you will still be able to achieve the same target that is the loss will be zero even in this case so there is nothing like a, a unique solution here you can end up with a different set of weights but still you will be able to achieve the same target so even that is possible so there is no one unique solution in this case what happens is if you have another image maybe it's possible that the same set of weights will work out and you will be able to still detect a horizontal edge along with the vertical edge but it can also happen that the same set of weights may not be sufficient and you may have to go for additional weights so when you are designing your neural network architecture you have to decide how many weights you need in each of these stages